What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotic, bringing you our playoffs battle round one for the Bandless Battlers League. Today we're facing off against Blue, coach of the San Diego State Azelfs, and I have no idea why my OBS is flipping out, like it just decides to glitch out randomly for no apparent reason. If you guys have any idea of why that is, let me know, please, like right there, just did it there. I have no idea why. I'm, my hands are literally by my headphones. It's ridiculous. Again, unbelievable. Anyways, so let's kind of get into the matchup. And uh, so we did end up sneaking into playoffs last week after really just having it be, like kind of coming down to the wire. Our season was, by our standards, just god awful. It was horrible. So I'll kind of give you a bit of a rundown um, of our team out of the matchup. Now, last time we faced off against Blue, we actually had um, we actually had the disadvantage, of course. He has a team with like six Ubers. Um, but we actually won that game on the back of Blaziken getting a crit Shadow Claw on his Giratina while we were at plus two. And um, because of that, I really expect him to bring the Ditto. He didn't bring the Ditto, though. So that's kind of confusing. But I'll go over his team anyways, and you guys can kind of see why I don't like our chances here. He was the number one overall team. We did sneak in after winning our last three games, even though one was a game where my girlfriend played, and the other one was when we got a forfeit win. So... We, we, we got in by the skin of our teeth, but we got in nonetheless. So let's get into it. Um, our opponent has a team of Lugia, Origin Form Giratina, Victini, Mega Diancy, Ditto, Dark Rye with Zemus, Groudon, Beware with Zemus, Victory Bell with Zemus, Roselia, and Corsa. He's got a bit of a sun team going on with that Victory Bell and the Roselia with the Groudon, but he's also got, what, one, two, three, three box art legends? Like, plus a Dark Rye, plus a Diancy, a Mega Diancy, plus a Victini. Like, his team is just completely busted, and he didn't even have to bring the Ditto against us, which is just insane. But, uh, our team, for what could possibly be the last time, is Speed Blues, Blaze Gamma Z moves, Arceus Bug, Manaphy, Thunderous, Therian, Ninetales, Alolan Form, Bronzong, Drapion, Quagsire, Alolan Executor with Z moves, Sand Slash, Alolan with Z moves, and Mega Altaria. Now let's get into the team that we actually brought for this week. So to start off, we have Taco, our Bronzong, which I brought one other time this season, by the way, just one. That's crazy. In 10 matches, 11 matches, that I could have possibly had it for. It came once. That's a great pickup, Matt. Really solid mon. <laughs> I did not I did not draft well in this league at all. I, my team was super underwhelming compared to a lot of others. Um, but we have Gyro Ball, Stealth Rock, Explosion, and Light Scream with the Culver Berry. And I have the Culver Berry there because I just want to be sure in case he was going to lead with his Dark Rye and go for a Dark Pulse on me. I want to make sure I could live it, get up a Light Screen, get up rocks, and explode, Gyro Ball, whatever it be. My plan is basically to lead off for this thing, get up my rocks turn one, and then set up a Light Screen, potentially break a Lugia sub with Gyro Ball, and then boom, so I can get into my Altaria or my Blaziken and go for game from there. And that is my play. 100%. That is what I have to do here to try and pick up a win. So, by that, we then have the exact same Altaria we had last time. We have Return. Well, I think I had Body Slam last time. Or did I have Return? I can't remember. But we have Return, Earthquake, Roost, and Dragonets. For Max Happiness, of course, I gen this team myself, so we're all good. Um, I have a Majolly Nature with, I believe, with 148 speed. I believe that's enough speed. What is that enough speed for? I have no idea. I just copied the same spread. I think it's for Victory Bell. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think that's what it's for. But anyways, uh, it could be still at plus one. We have to be Dark Rider or something like that, but I, I can't remember. But anyways, um, with this spread, we pretty much just nuke his entire team. If we get the plus two. It's pretty much game over because if we get rocks up, Lugia isn't taking a plus two return. It, well, it, it will, but it's not going to take it well. It's not going to be able to fire back very hard. Uh, Giratina is going down to a plus two return. Groudon is going to go down to a plus two return unless he's super, super, super defensive. And what is he going to do back to me? Earthquake? Precipice Blades? I, I'm kind of fat. I have 100 HP EVs. That's a decent amount. Next up, though, we have Shelmet 2.0, our Arceus Bug with the Insect Plate, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Toxic, and Recover. Uh, last time I had this spread, I actually ran Stealth Rock over Toxic, or over Earth Power, sorry, and I wanted to leave with it. Didn't end up happening, so I decided to run Earth Power instead. That way I could hit the Victini and Mega Diancy better, and that's why I have that. Um, yeah, we're pretty, we have enough speed for the Lugia, I believe, or Lugia Creeping, or a Thunderous Therian. That's why I have speed for. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my, my uh, RC set, but then we have our Blaziken Chicken Run here with Scope Lens this week. Um, we were in the exact same spread as we ran last time, 12 in HP, max attack, admin nature, 4 in defense, 4 in special defense, and 236 in speed. We have Protect, Swords Dance, Low Kick, and Shadow Claw. I'm running Protect because I really expected him to have the, uh, what is it called, um, the Ditto. So if he came in while I was at, let's say, plus 2, I could Protect off, then we could Speed Tie, and I would be able to go for game from there again while going for Crit Shadow Claws. Now, Scope Lens with Shadow Claw has a 50-50 chance to get a crit, and that is what I'm going for here. If I get the plus two, crit Shadow Claws, crit Low Kicks are basically going to win me the game, and that's the only chance I have of winning because this team is just so good. Next up, though, we have 
Spanic our Thunderous Therium with the Expert Belt. I have Max Special Attack, Max Speed because we got to outspeed the King by one point. We then have T-Bolt, Grass Knot, Dark Pulse, and Agility Beak. We had things for super effective damage on everything on this team, except for, what, the Darkrai and I think the Roselia and Victory, and Victory Bell? I could be wrong, but I think that's it. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy, but it's pretty much everything on this team, so Expert Belt is going to be really good here. And then finally, we have our Drapion. This is a exact replica of the set spread we bought last time against them. We have Knockoff, Whirlwind, Toxic, and Pursuit. It is there so that we can beat the Giratina because that thing just clicks Hex against me. It can go for Toxic or will wisp and then Hex and just blow me back. That thing is so strong. And even though it has to hold the Grizzly Orb, it just makes it so much more powerful. Anyways, guys, that is our team. I have been talking long enough. So if you guys are still here, leave a like for the potential last BBL game. But uh, yeah, we are going to face off against Blue right now. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So I am leading off here with my Bronzong. I told you guys that is my dedicated lead. This uh, this mod is really good against his team. It's probably the best option that I have to deal with his potential leads, unless it's Victini, but I am heat proof, so I should be fine there. And he actually ends up leading off with, uh, I'm gonna mute this by the way, I hear some music in the background. Uh, I'm gonna, so he leads with his Dancy, and I'm breaking the 50-50 he's gonna switch out, but he stays in, so I was, I should've gone for the Gyro Ball. That really sucks that he stayed in, but he did, and at this point, um, we get, he has rocks up and we have no way to get rid of them and I, thankfully I went for the light screen here just to do the safe 50-50 play. That was my best option just because I needed to make sure that I could actually, uh, well, take a hit from something else that came in. So uh, that was the best middle ground play just in case he switched out. If he decided to go into the Lugia, it really wasn't my best. It really wasn't to my best interest to go for the gyro ball there. So now at this point I'm going to go for the rock screen and switch out. That is by far my best play again uh, and now he goes into Belugia. If this thing is max HP, max defense, we can't break its sub. If he is just max defense, we can break his sub. We have enough investment for that. But you're gonna see here, he's gonna go for the substitute. And this makes me like, he's for sure sub, calm mind, arrow blast, and either recover or rooster, shadow ball or something like that. He takes the sub hit, he takes the hit with the gyro ball and he survives. And that's like, that's the worst case scenario because now it really stalls out a lot of what I want to do. I have to go for another gyro ball as he sets up a calm mind here. And calm mind obviously on Lugia is ridiculous. It's got high enough special attack as it's got high enough defenses and it's got high enough HP with multi-scale. It's just insane. And flying stab is just ridiculous. It's got arrow blast which is a high chance to crit to go through my light screen. So Jesus. Anyways, we break the sub finally. And at this point, he's going to be able to go for another free sub 100% without a doubt. So my play here is once again, go for the gyro ball. I basically want to make sure, because I think at this point I have one turn left of, um, of light screen. So my play right now is I want to make sure that I can break this guy's sub and still have at least three turns of light screen left. Maybe four even if I can get lucky, because I want to boom on him as well. So I'm going to go for the gyro ball here. He has one turn left of, um, what is it called? Sub. So I'm gonna, he's going for the shadow ball now. And I believe I go for the gyro ball because my, or I go, this is the gyro ball, or I go for the, uh, light screen. I think I go for the light screen here, right? But he, he does quit me there, by the way, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. I go for the dryer ball there. His sub is now gone. I can now go freely for my light screen once again. And he knows, he knows I have three moves. He knows three moves on my four. So if I have toxic, then he's screwed, but I'm not going to reveal toxic. I'm, there's no chance. He should be going for a sub. That's the smart thing to do. So he goes to the sub one more time. I believe at this point here, I'm going to set up my light screen one more time. And then I'm going to click boom because uh, I can't let this thing get to plus six. I just can't. And he's revealed Shadow Ball, which means he probably doesn't have uh, Roost. So this thing is just relying on Leftovers for recovery. But he goes for the Calm Mind again. I believe he's at plus two, plus two now, or potentially plus three, plus three. I'm pretty sure it's plus two, plus two though. And I'm just going to go Boom right here. It's by far my best option. I really have no reason not to. Um, so Explosion will come out and Explosion will 100% break the sub. Uh, it does 100% of the time. Uh, there's no worries that. I believe it does like 30 min, which is crazy. So it is 30 minimum, Explosion. Oh God, this thing is so fat. Like, I can't believe we allowed Lugia in this league. But anyways, down goes Bronzong. We are down to our last five members of the team. And I'm going to now go into my Drapion. This was a big mistake. I should have just gone to my Altaria here. The reason I didn't though was because um, I felt like he could still wear me down with the Arrow Blast. If he was at plus one, I would have definitely gone finally Altaria and set up a, a Dragon Dance or two. But uh, he's just going for the Arrow Blast here. And I predicted, I think, the swap. And I decided to go for the, or the sub, and I went for the Whirlwind. So that was a wrong play of mine. I should have gone for the knockoff there, but I bring in the dark ram. Like, okay, that's whatever. I can talk to this thing. I'll be perfectly fine. And uh, I, I'm in my special defensive wall right now, anyway. So I could just kind of stay on this thing and resist his stab, which is fine. But I don't have anything to hit back with. So I'm gonna go for the toxic here. And uh, you're gonna see right now he's gonna go for the dark pulse. And wouldn't you know it, he flinches us. 
that sucks. Um, it's whatever, 30% chance to flinch, I believe, not a big deal. Um, I didn't really expect to uh, kind of bring this back anyways, it, since I messed up by going into my Drapion instead of my Altaria, I should definitely go Altaria. But he goes into his Mega Deancey now, and he knows I have nothing to touch this thing. Um, if I had Poison Jab, I would have gone for it, but I don't. And uh, at this point here, I basically need to click Whirlwind here because the reason I'm clicking Whirlwind right now is because I want to know what he does, and I want to get myself out of there. So I'm gonna click Whirlwind here, and he's gonna go for the Calm Mind. I really didn't expect Calm Mind. I expected like Earth Power or like Moon Blast, but he goes for the Calm Mind, and like he has set up on everything on his team. I bet it's just God. I have, I have no way of beating this insanely busted team. I don't know how he managed to get all this. He got ground in like round six or something like that. But uh, Magic Bounce obviously will bounce back the Whirlwind, and we will get flown back right out into um, I believe our Blaziken now. I'm like this isn't bad. Um, I can go for the Protect here because this guy always gonna do. And then hopefully he switches out thinking of the Earthquake, because Earthquake should KO him. So I go for Protect here, and right now you're going to see he actually is, uh, he's going to be just fine and go for the Moonblast. We outspeed him now. I don't have the Earthquake, of course. Low Kick doesn't KO. So I have to go for the Shadow Claw here, and uh, I'm going to pause it. So my calc said that I lived this Moonblast. Um, I calc with Light Screen up. So I thought I could live the hit, and if I had gone that hit off, if I got that Swords off, we won the game right there if we got the crit on the Groudon and the, um, what is it called? Stupid. Giratina, there we go. If, like, nothing else we needed to crit on. So, <laughs> I was really hoping we could do that, but unfortunately, you're going to see here, uh, he is going to crit us, which it doesn't matter at all. Like, I thought it did, but it really doesn't. And, um, DNC, guys, is just going to sweep right here. I have nothing left that outspeeds it. Nothing takes a hit. So, that's that. I mean, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, Oh my god, I just realized I have Manaphy on the layout instead of Thunderous. I don't think I'm going to change that. But anyways, we are going to lose here to Blue 6-0. Honestly, I'm really not salty. I'm not disappointed. I am disappointed, but I, I really don't mind because there was no way we should have won the first time we played against them. There's none. And that win kind of got us into playoffs. Yeah, I was on a bit of hacks, and we had a lot of hacks against us all season. But I was able to keep my streak alive making playoffs. I had no expectations of making it past Blue because his team is just completely busted. Like... He used what? He used Mega Deancey, he used Darkrai for like a turn, and he used um, Lugia. That's it. I mean, I really had nothing on my team to potentially just wear this his team down. I really didn't, and uh, I just had to get lucky with crits, um, try and get my lead matchup right, and if I'd, if I'd gone for the Gyro Ball turn once, that would have been an amazing play. But then he could have just brought in his Giratina, and he could have gone for the uh, Shadow Ball on me. We wouldn't have died, but it would have been really painful. If he had flinched with Darkrai, it would have been game over. So, even though we had our Cobra Berry, but yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it. We are going to lose 6 out of blue. Um, I don't know if I plan to have a, what is it called, uh, a season recap go up for this. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Pause. Uh, so yeah, this is future Matt uh, in post-editing. Um, so I really didn't like how the ending of that uh, turned out. I was being interrupted by Django, and my girlfriend came in, and she was listening to something on YouTube. So I'm just going to talk over that and mute that part. But um yeah, I can't really remember exactly where I was at, but I had GG to blue. Um, it's really unfortunate that we did end up losing big. <laughs> we lost 6-0, which is the worst thing it could kind of be, but honestly, there was no reason for us not to lose that game. There was really no other opportunity unless we hacked our opponents. And uh, honestly, with a team like this and versus a team like Blues, I think we just need to uh, honestly learn from this. And in next season, we just got to build better. We got to team build better. We have to draft better because our team just wasn't up to par. Wasn't up to par with teams like Blues, like Aaron's, like all these other really strong teams, like Lux's. Lux's team was ridiculously scary. He had like Coco Lucha with like Rayquaza, it was insane. Anyway, so there's a ton of great teams here. Um, guys, you should really go and check them out. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.